Yo, yo, what's going on, my dudes? It's Luke here from Blue Room Academy. And today we've just cooked up a tune in the style of Max Dean and Luke Dean, uh, the Dean brothers from the UK doing amazing shit right now. Uh, so I thought we make a track in the style of them and pretty stoked with the results. Jumping right in, we have our bass layer. So this is the main melody that is being played uh, throughout the whole track. And we have a couple of synths that are going to be following this exact bass groove. So in this preset, it is just an operator synth, a saw wave operator synth, uh, put the frequency on 102 hertz, push up the resonance a little bit, and we've pushed the envelope up to 22%. And if we push the envelope up even more, we can make this bass start sounding very bouncy. Um, but obviously with all of the synths busy going on, we don't want this bass to sound too bouncy and too present in the mids. Uh, so we've just put it on 22% just to give it a little bit of bounce. Underneath them, we have our kick drum. So the interesting thing about this kick drum is that we actually have a little percussion busy playing on top of the kick drum. And what that's doing is really uh, just helping the bass layer stick out a little bit. So it's in the same groove as the bass. Uh, just something new that I tried uh, just to make the kick drum not sound so stagnant in the mix. And uh, yeah, that is our bass layer. In our drum layer, we have our main clap here. followed by a hat that we have. Our snare drum. Then we have this sample of a broken glass and that's coming in right before the drop. We have our hi-hats. We have another hat. We have a snare layer. It's playing very low in volume because uh, it's just adding a little bit of texture to our clap. Together with the clap, it sounds like this. We have an open hat. He's just coming in every now and then to give us a little bit of groove. We have a cowbell and we have a triangle loop. All together, the drums sound like this. Now we have our synth layers. I've used a couple instances of the Korg M1. And what I've done is I've just left it in MIDI here, but I'm going to be posting two different versions of this project on my Patreon. Uh, one is going to be with the MIDI and one is going to be uh, bounces of this MIDI because I know not everyone has got the Korg M1. So I will be bouncing these guys out to an audio file so you can still use them. Uh, but some interesting sounds that we've chosen from the Korg M1, including this one at the top. We have this one, which is essentially almost exactly the same as the guy on the top, except we've added a little bit of erosion. Now we have our main organ layer. As I said, this guy is following the main melody of the bass. And this is a very cool sample. Uh, Luke Dean uses this organ sample all the time. Uh, it's from the Korg M1. There's some great sounds that come out of this Korg M1. We have um, an additive layer, which is also from the Korg M1.
pretty low in volume, uh, but he's just adding um, a bit of texture to the original organ sound. So underneath we have the exact same organ sample, except it's one octave lower. And because it's an octave lower, we lost a lot of the high frequencies and those high mid frequencies that we want for the drop. Uh, so what I've done is I've added an erosion to put a little bit of texture on top and done some uh, pushing of the EQ in around about 2000 hertz frequency. <laughs> We have this instance of silent. And that's really helping the groove when uh, this melody stops. And underneath we have a dub chord just coming and stabbing every now and then. We have this uh, horn one shot. We have the synth, which I've stretched out. It was just a normal one shot. If I take the erosion, the auto filter, and the side chain off, sounds pretty boring. And then after we put on the effects, sounds really cool. Altogether, our synth layer sounds like this. So now we get to the effects and we have a lot of stuff happening with the effects. First off, we have our crash. We have another crash, which comes in at the drop. We have the sound effect. that also kind of accommodates the crash. We have this reverse tape stop. And that comes in just before the drop. We have this glitch loop. Just playing very low in volume because we have quite a lot of glitch loops happening right underneath them. And we have this vinyl noise. Which is almost emulating uh, a needle sound, uh, you know, playing a record on vinyl needle. Um, altogether, all of the glitch loops sound like this. So very subtle in volume, but um, it's adding a lot of texture to the groove, to the drums, to everything, making it sound like really old school house track. And underneath we have this string. Just filling out some of the highs. We have this instance of silence. that's being used as a rasa and uh, a downfall. And just before the drop, we have this vinyl scratch. And we have this snare shot roll. We have this synth. that has an automation on a bandpass filter, is he going down? So underneath we have our vocals. Bomb breaker. He says bomb breaker. And underneath that we have our second vocal. That's right. Which is almost like this vocal chant. Um, will absolutely work amazing uh, in this genre of music. And in a nutshell, that is pretty much the whole tune. So I'll play this track back just so you guys can have a listen quickly.
thanks so much for tuning in guys uh, please consider subscribing and leaving a like down below it really helps me push this channel and uh, as usual the project files of this track are going to be available on my patreon uh, with two different versions one with the korg m1 bounced and one with the midi available still hope you guys have a blessed week see you in the next one